the great black hope, Barack Obama. He came out of the woodwork and finally endorsed his friend, Joe Biden. Uh, finally happened. Cool. Okay, and in this endorsement speech, he loved some really poignant praise at Bernie Sanders. And it was very telling because I want you to look at the rhetoric that he's utilizing here. And I just want you to just pay close attention to that. So I'm going to play you two clips here. First, I'm going to play the clip of Obama acting as if Bernie is now the Vermontan Jesus. All right. And then I'm going to play you the clip of Obama basically adopting Bernie's platform. So check it out real quick. Bernie's an American original, a man who has devoted his life to giving voice to working people's hopes, dreams, and frustrations. He and I haven't always agreed on everything, but we've always shared a conviction that we have to make America a fairer, more just, more equitable society. We both know that nothing is more powerful than millions of voices calling for change. And the ideas he's championed, the energy and enthusiasm he inspired, especially in young people, will be critical in moving America in a direction of progress and hope. Bernie, Bernie, you, you've done so much. You've done so much for us, Bernie. Oh, Bernie, you've been right all along. You've been right all along, Bernie. <laughs> George Jesus. Okay, now I want you to watch the language that he's using here, the pandering that he's using here. Let's Check take it a listen. It's one of the reasons that Joe already has what is the most progressive platform of any major party nominee in history. Because even before the pandemic turned the world upside down, it was already clear that we needed real structural change. The vast inequalities created by the new economy are easier to see now, but they existed long before this pandemic hit. And that applies to the next generation of Americans, young people graduating into unprecedented unemployment. They're going to need economic policies that give them faith in the future and give them relief from crushing student loan debt. So we need to do more than just tinker around the edges with tax credits or underfunded programs. We have to go further to give everybody a great education, a lasting career, and a stable retirement. Don't you love how Obama acts like, who, me? Who, me? I had no hand in this. Really? You have no blame. You have no blame whatsoever. Everything you just talked about, the fact that the scales are tipped against average families, the fact that we've been tinkering around the edges and no more of that. Real structural reform. Really? You had no hand in the continuation of those policies. Really? That amazes me. It absolutely blows me away. Because... It shows that this guy has no shame, no shame whatsoever. Despite the fact that for eight years, he was deporter in chief, deported millions of undocumented immigrants. The fact that this guy had seven drone strike campaigns going on across the Middle East, North Africa. The fact that this guy pushed a Republican health care plan from the 90s, bailed out the big banks instead of bailing out working families. That's this guy's legacy. The continuation of the war on drugs, the fact that the minimum wage is still a starvation wage, that's this guy's legacy. The TPP, that's his legacy. But instead of, oh, I don't know, taking ownership of that, acknowledging the fact that I have nothing to do with, uh, the fact that I have nothing to do with actually pushing forward progressive legislation and that my whole legacy has been corporate neoliberalism, instead of that, no. Nah, no, 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 I'm, I'm going to act like I'm on your side now, that I've always been on your side, that I'm, I'm fully for Bernie now, not me, us, Bernie's Vermont Jesus, Bernie's so cool, Bernie, 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 his movement is so powerful, and I've been there from the jump, blah, 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 Bern, look, 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 Obama can scream until he's blue in the face about the fact that he's a progressive and that he's been there and that he's about to fight, blah, 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 none of it matters to us. Because the fact of the matter remains, buddy, that you have a record. And that more importantly, your vice president now has a record. 
We see you and we've seen what you've been about for 40 to 50 years. We see the corruption, the Wall Street corruption, the billionaire fundraisers, big pharma insurance companies. We see the record. We see the disastrous votes, the war for the war in, the vote for the war in Iraq. We see the vote for the bank bailout. We see the vote for the bankruptcy bill. We see the vote for NAFTA. We see the vote for the crime bill. We see Joe Biden and everything that he stood for for 40 to 50 years. He's everything that's wrong with American politics and we're not going to stand for it. It doesn't matter how many times you try to act like you're progressive now and you've turned over a new leaf and that Joe Biden's somehow magically done the same thing. Because we see it for what it is. It's pandering at its finest. And it has to stop. Because no one cares. No one cares what you got to say, Mr. Obama, because we see the facts, we see the action, but you all we continue to get from you is talk. And your talk is cheap, and your candidate's talk is even more cheap. So shoo, bye. Don't come back and ask for my vote until you come up with real policy concessions and real actionable concessions. Don't give me some, oh, I'm going to drop the Medicare cap down to 60. What is that? Hillary gave a larger concession on that. She wanted to drop it down to 50. <laughs> That's amazing to me. They still haven't learned their lesson. Then on top of that, I don't care about what you have to say on the policy. Even if the policy, you gave us so much more in terms of the progressive policy. You gave us Medicare for all. You gave us a Green New Deal. They wouldn't do that. But even if they did, the talk is cheap. No one cares because we don't trust you because you're still going to the billionaire fundraisers and telling them that nothing's going to fundamentally change because you're still taking the money from Wall Street and the insurance companies because you have for 40 to 50 years. What we need is an assurance that that talk is actually going to be backed up in reality. What we need is to make sure that you're going to put in progressive people to hold you accountable. We have progressives in the cabinet. We have a progressive VP on the ticket or you stop taking the corporate money. But will he do any of those things? Will Obama tell him to do any of those things? No, no, and no. Because I want to reiterate here, their allegiance is to their donors. It has nothing to do with you. They don't care about you. They don't care about your family. They don't care about all the struggle. They don't care about the pain that you go through on a daily basis. Barack Obama does not care. His record shows that, regardless of whatever he tells you now. So stop. I refuse. I refuse to fall for your lies. I refuse to fall for your pandering. I'm smarter than that. And the evidence speaks much louder than all the little cheap talk you're giving me right now. So shoo, shoo, and bye. And if you dare come back asking me for my vote, you better come back with real concessions. Or I guarantee you I will be sitting out and millions of other Bernie supporters will be sitting out. But this is the last point here I'll just say. I don't even know if they care. I really don't even know if they care because it's obvious that's what they need to do. It's obvious at this point that progressive policy is more electable, is the only winning strategy left for the Democratic Party. It's obvious that Bernie is the future. His movement is the future. That's obvious. It's obvious to them that they need to give us something real. They can't just drop the Medicare cap down to 60 and give us lip service. But they can't move on the policy. They can't give us something real. They can't give us something actionable. They can't give us something legitimate. They can't do that. They refuse to do that. Because then that upsets the donors. That upsets the people they really have an allegiance to. And that's ultimately what it boils down to. That's ultimately how politics works now here in America. And it's a goddamn shame. It really truly is. It's a shame and it's really sad to see. But it couldn't be more abundantly clear. Because... The writing's on the wall, and it has been for years now. We are the future. Progressives are the future. This is the direction the party has to move. But instead of giving us real ground, instead of giving us something real and actionable, and actually being the progressive that you claim to be, that you claim to be in this video, that you claim to be in this endorsement, they stick with the status quo. That's what you get with Joe Biden. Status quo Joe. And I'm done with it, bro. I'm done with it. Give us something real or I'm not voting, and millions of us aren't either. We'll see if they care. Because who knows, man? They might just rather lose than actually give us something real. And that's crazy. That just shows you that the future is not going to be putting your eggs in the basket with Joe Biden. The future is going to be putting your eggs in the basket towards a progressive movement that fights for working families. Right.
riding, yeah you know we vibing, bitch we just live.